today's video is going to be about how to get your leopard gecko to have a chunky tail. Now it's incredibly simple. You don't need some expensive formula, you don't need to give it heaps and heaps of food. You just have to make sure your gecko is healthy. Now an inexperienced owner will tell you, ah oh, just give it loads of wax worms, that will fatten it up. Please do not do that. Wax worms have low nutritional levels, they're high in phosphorus and they're quite addictive. They're kind of like sweets to leopard geckos. Now, if your gecko is over six months old, it can have a waxworm as a treat. I usually do two to three waxworms every two to three weeks, but only a treat. Main feed insects that can be fed frequently include crickets, mealworms, and dubia roaches. Now, you need to make sure that the feed insects are gut loaded, that they are being given to your gecko with the correct supplements on them. They're given to your gecko at the right amount of time, so babies every day, juveniles every other day, and adults every three or four days. And also that you're giving them the correct amount. Now the best tip I can give you in terms of equipment to use is get some kitchen scales. These are just standard kitchen scales and I swear most houses in Britain have them. I know it might be a bit different in America because you do a lot of measuring in cups but these will really help. If you have a baby or a juvie you can weigh them every week so you can see that their weight is actually progressing. If you have an adult they tend to stay at a consistent weight. So I could feed all my geckos the same amount of food and yet Diego's weight will always be 80 to 90 grams, Ziggy's weight will always be 60 grams and Minnie's will always be 50 grams. So every gecko is different. If Diego weighed Ziggy's weight, if Diego was like 60 grams, he would be so ill and skinny and unhealthy. And yet if Ziggy was Diego's weight, she'll be so overweight and unhealthy. So there's no perfect weight, it really just varies from gecko to gecko. Now back in June, this picture of Gizmo's tail was taken and she hadn't eaten for four months because she was ovulating, she had two eggs inside of her and basically where she hadn't been eating, all that fat storage in the tail had t been taken out and probably gone to help grow these eggs, they were so annoying. <laughs> anyway, she finally laid those two eggs. For the last two months I've been feeding her gut loaded crickets, the odd cheeky waxworm and they've all been dusted in the correct supplements. This is her tail now. Now, unbelievably, there's only two grams difference between these two pictures. I think because basically the eggs were weighing her down, but right now she's 51 grams, and I know from her records that I keep that at the start of the year she has 60 grams, and that was a really good weight for her. So that's what we're aiming for. Now, if I hadn't had all these records about her weight, I might be a bit confused of what to do right now, but I know that from her records that 60 grams is what we're aiming for. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, I've done all that, you know, the food's gut loaded, they're getting their supplements and everything, but your gecko's tail still skinny, there could be a few other reasons for this. Firstly, they could still be growing. If they're a baby or a juvenile, or even if you've got them secondhand, shall we say, and they're an adult, but they've been in bad conditions, so their growth may be stunted, they are still growing. So it can take a little while for the tail to fill out, but as long as you're feeding them properly and everything, they should get there when they get to their adult size. Another reason might be that you're not feeding them enough. I've actually heard people give their leopard geckos two large crickets instead of five to eight good sized crickets. This does not work. Do not cut corners because you'll have a load more problems. Another thing could be they're on the bad substrate. I know I keep on about this, but sand, Kelsey sand, it's not good for leopard geckos. If they're impacted, the tail can get skinny and it can also die. If you don't keep their tank clean, this can also lead to diseases and parasites and they can get skinny tails from that and also die. So remember to keep cleaning out their poop, clean out any food that hasn't been eaten, Give them fresh water and when you give them a big tank clean, use reptile safe disinfectant. There's also a disease that it's kind of rare but it could occur and it's highly contagious, you can't cure it, you can keep a gecko alive who has it but it can't be cured and it's, its nickname is stick tail. If a gecko has it and it's in a cage of other geckos, they can get it. If a gecko has it and is bred with, all their offspring will have it. So if you rescued a gecko from a bad pet shop or just bought one from a bad pet shop and you're wondering why its tail may be skinny, it could just be stunted with its growth. 
but it can also have an underlying disease and that's why it's always good to get from a decent breeder who knows what they're doing because they would not breed a gecko with stick tail. So these are things to think about, but if you are really worried about your gecko, if it's still really skinny, take it to an exotic or reptile vet. I cannot cure your gecko over the internet, I cannot examine it or give it medicine, I'm not even qualified for that, so take them to a vet. So in a nutshell, if your gecko is healthy, then it should have a chunky tail, because that's just natural for leopard geckos. There's obviously exceptions when it comes to their age, because if they're growing, it might not quite be there yet. But as long as you're keeping them healthy, they should have a plump tail. I hope this has helped and thank you very much for watching.